Hey guys, what's up? This is me, Teddy Macedo speaking. Here I am at my grandparents' house. Um, I hope you're all having a happy Easter. And today, we're gonna be talking about the, the new... <clears throat> today, we're gonna be talking about the new and upcoming Disney Toon Studios film. And yes, people, there's gonna be another film coming from Disney Toon Studios coming out soon. Now, for those who don't know what Disney Toon Studios is, Disney Toon Studios is basically the animation studio behind all the direct video sequel, all the Disney direct video sequels, the Tinkerbell movies, the Planes movies, and all that kind of stuff. Basically, almost any Disney film that would be considered a Disney consumer product. So, anyways, um, today, so yeah, um, when it comes to Disney Toon Studios. There was at one point a certain time period when the last Disney Toon Studios film appeared to be Tinkerbell Legend of the Never Beast, right? Well, it turns out that there's going to be another film coming out in 2019. In case you guys are wondering what it is, well, I'm not sure yet. Which is why I'm here to explain what I want it to be and what I don't want it to be. Now, first, I'm going to talk about what I do want it to be. Here are some things that I do want the next Disney Toon Studios film to be. The first, or, do I sh or should I say, the most obvious one that I would like it to be would be, of course, a sequel to an animated classic. Now, what can I say, people? I love the Disney direct -to video sequels. Most of them aren't as bad as what most people say they would be. And yes, I know what a lot of you are all probably going to say. Oh, well, Disney never likes making sequels. Or, oh, John Lasseter canceled, or already canceled future Disney direct -to sequels. Now, look, people. And yes, I'm already aware of the fact that Walt Disney never liked making sequels. And yes, I'm already aware of the fact that John Lasseter was can has already canceled future Disney sequels. Well, John Lasseter only did that just because we have atrocities like Return to Far and Mulan 2. So anyways, um, here's some, however, if the next film is going to be a sequel, here's what I would, here are the following sequels I would love to see happening. My first, or should I say my most requested one, being Peter Pan 3. Now what can I say, people, I loved Return to Neverland. And um, when I first heard the news, they were going to get a Peter Pan 3. I was like so excited. But then when I first heard that it, that it got cancelled. I was so upset when I first heard that it got cancelled. Um, when it comes to Peter Pan. I adore Return to Neverland. And um, when it comes to Peter Pan 3. Um, I was so excited about that movie when I first heard the news about it. So when it comes to Pete, however, if Disney did do Peter Pan 3, not only would it le not only would it be able to give more personality to all the characters that have appeared in Return to Neverland, including Peter Pan, Wen Wendy, Jane, Captain Hook, Mr. Smee, and the Lost Boys, but also it would have given personality to two of Jane's daughters being Moria from the Steven Spielberg movie Hook and Margaret from the original Peter Pan books written by Sir J.M. Barry. In case you guys are wondering whether or not there are any other Disney sequels I'd like to see, yes. I'd also would like to be able to see a Pinocchio 2 and, and I also would like to be able to see a Dumbo 2 as well whether you guys believe it or not. At least I prefer that over a live-action Dumbo remake, that's for sure. I also would love to be able to see a great mouse, de a great mouse detective too, considering the fact, well, take a look at the ending for yourself, which I'm not going to spoil. So anyways, um, I also would love to be able to see, well, one of my other most requested Disney sequels would also include who framed Roger Rabbit 2, um, what can I say, people, I love Who Framed, I loved Who Framed Roger Rabbit, 
the now when it comes to the long awaited Roger Rabbit sequel, I've known people who would who would appear to be very very biased about it if it weren't for Bob Hoskins. So based on what the, the long awaited Roger Rabbit sequel personally means to me, whether or not Bob Hoskins would return doesn't really matter. What would matter more is the fact, well, of course, you have to bring back Charles Fleischer's Roger Rabbit, Kathleen Turner as Jessica Rabbit, and Lou Hurst do, returning to do the adult voice for Baby Herman, and April Winchell doing the baby voices for Baby Herman. However, one thing I would like to see happen in the long-awaited Roger Rabbit sequel would be, of course, see adding way more cartoon characters characters than how much the original have. I mean, when it comes to Who Framed Roger Rabbit 2, whether you guys love it or hate it, one thing to point out about Who Framed Roger Rabbit is, is that there are a lot of great cartoon characters that deserve to be in the Who Framed Ro Roger Rabbit universe, which sadly did not. Including Popeye the Sailor, Tom and Jerry, Lola Bunny, um, Scooby-Doo, the works of Nickelodeon, um, as well as a lot of the post-1988 Disney characters, you know, not just from f characters such as Ariel, Beast, Belle, Aladdin, Jasmine, Genie, Jafar, Timon and Pumbaa, Stitch, Tiana, Rapunzel, Anna, or Elsa, or Olaf, or any of those guys. We're also including characters from some of the Disney sequels, including Jane, as well as TV characters with the likes of Scrooge McDuck, Darkwing Duck, Launchpad McQuack, the Rescue Rangers, Kim Possible, and all those guys. And another requested, another Disney sequel I would love to see happen would also include Wreck-It Ralph 2. And what can I say, people? I loved Wreck-It Ralph. And I think it'll be great if they can do a Wreck-It Ralph sequel, which, good thing, they actually are doing a Wreck-It Ralph 2. But thankfully, with John C. Riley reprising his role, reprising his role as Wreck-It Ralph. That's a, that's, a, that's a plus. Though another thing i also like to see happen in Wreck-It Ralph 2, besides... John C. Riley reprising his roles as Wreck-It Ralph would be, of course, adding in more video game characters than how much the original has to offer. Considering the fact that you've got video game characters that that sadly never got to appear in Wreck-It Ralph, which really should have, including more namely Mario, of course, right? Because if you're gonna have if you're gonna pay no homage to video games in any way, you guys just have to have Mario. As well as, um, I also would love to be able to see some Soul Calibur characters appearing, as well as Heihachi, um, some Tekken characters including Heihachi. I also would love to be able to see, um, are there any other video game characters I'd like to see right above too? Oh, right. i also like to see Sly Cooper. I also would love to be able to see some characters from games like Rita Rabbit, Clue Finders, and Jumpstart. I also would love to be able to see, um, anyone else I'd love to see, um, I'd also like to see Master Chief, as well as Crash Bandicoot, as well as, I also would love to be able to see Kratos appear in there as well. And also, um, so yeah, and also, in case, if the next movie... If the next Disney Two Studios movie, if the the next Disney Two, Disney Two Studios movie is not going to be a sequel to an animated classic, well, I also would I also would like it to be like let's just say a movie based on a TV show. That's not Star vs. the Forces of Evil. That is, because let's just face it, people. Star vs. the Forces of Evil pokes fun out of autism. Heck, I have autism myself as well. So anyways, um, so yeah, in case you guys are wondering what are some great TV shows I'd like to see, 
being turned into a movie. Well, most of the TV shows I would like to see being turned into a, a movie are typically are from are typically from the Toon Disney era. But in this case, I would love them love it to make sure that that they make it fully animated. Think of like what you guys would see coming from films like Ducktales the Movie, Treasure Lost Lamp, um. Kim, Kim Possible, Stitch in Time, or Mickey's House of Films, or basically just any of that stuff instead of like what you guys would see coming from the live action Transformers movies, the live action on the Chipmunks movies, or any of that kind of stuff. So, anyways, um, some TV, some Disney TV shows I would love to see being turned into a movie, hopefully, they can keep it fully animated, include Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, Gargoyle. Gargoyles, I'd also would love to see another House of Mouse movie. It would also be great to see another DuckTales movie, even though I still have not seen DuckTales the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp just yet, but I wanted to. I'd also like to be able to see more movies based on TV shows first aired on Disney's One Saturday Morning, including a Pepper Ann movie, and, I'll, and I think it would be nice if Disney can also do another Doug movie, considering the fact that the first movie, first or and so far the only Doug movie that exists that you can that you guys can go watch right now appears to be called Doug's first movie. So it shouldn't be a surprise if Disney dare go do another Doug movie. And I also would like to see a Weekenders movie, um, as well as a Phineas and Ferb movie. I'd love to see. I also would love it to be, um, I also would love it to be, um, um, another Winnie the Pooh movie. Now, what can I say, people? I love Winnie the Pooh. I mean, yeah, sure, we've seen a lot of characters, a lot of the more obvious characters getting spinoffs, including Tigger with the Tigger movie, Piglet with Piglet's Big movie, and Rue with Winnie the Pooh Springtime with Rue. But what about Owl? What about Rabbit? Rabbit. And what about Gopher? Those characters should also get cameos, should get their own movie as well. Though, I often, though if Disney was going to do another Winnie the Pooh film, though I would love it if they can do some things with Hanukkah. I mean, yeah, sure, they may have done, a, they may have done some, Disney may have done some things with Winnie the Pooh, Still, Bernie Hanukkah on the pages, but why not on the screen? Why not on screen? Considering the fact that we've already seen Winnie the Pooh celebrate Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Easter on screen, as well as Valentine's Day, so I think it'll be nice if if Disney can do at least do something with, with Winnie the Pooh celebrating Hanukkah on screen. It can be done as a TV special or as a movie. A theatrical movie, or direct to video movie, or whatever. I don't care what form of media it's made out of, just as long as they can make Winnie the Pooh. Just as long as it's on screen, then I'm okay with it. So, yeah, I think it'd be nice if they can do a Winnie the Pooh Hanukkah movie. Um, and so that way they can help prove to, to the entire world that animation is not just for kids, or should I say, Animation is not just for Christians, as as you, as I'm Jewish, as you can tell. Anyways, um, I also would love it to be um another a Mickey Mouse movie. I mean, whenever I hear of Disney, I think of Mickey Mouse. I mean, in case you guys are wondering what I want my my next Mickey Mouse film to be, if they're gonna do any more, well, I definitely would love to see them do the search for Mickey Mouse at some point. Um I'd also would love for Disney to be able to do a Hanukkah, to do a Hanukkah cartoon of a Mickey Mouse. It can be done as a short, as a TV special, or even a movie or whatever. Again, like with Winnie the Pooh, don't care what form of media it would be made out of, just as long as it, it just as long as you can see it on the screen, then I'm okay with it. And, um, I also would love it to be an, a Donald Duck movie. And I also would love it, the next Disney Studios film to be another Goofy movie. Um, 
I would also would love it to be a movie to be an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit movie. So yeah, when it comes to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, um, yeah, sure. Can, well, when it comes to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, he is Walt Disney's first ever animated star since Pete. And, um, and when it comes to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, yeah, sure, we've seen some shorts of him, and, and, and also, yeah, we've also did get to see him appear, reappear in a video game franchise called Epic Mickey, in which I'm going to get into later. Anyways, I, I mean, since Oswald the Lucky Rabbit already did get to appear in a video game, I think it'll be great if he can appear in a movie for once. Anyways, um, I also would love it to be a Kingdom Hearts movie. Though when it comes to the Kingdom Hearts games, there's always... When it comes to the Kingdom Hearts games, for me, um, although I do enjoy playing the Kingdom Hearts games, you have to be... Whether you like the Kingdom Hearts games or hate the Kingdom Hearts games, one thing to point out about them is that there's... Not only will there be something to like about the Kingdom Hearts games, but also there's always going to be at least something to complain about as well. And if Disney was going to do a Kingdom Hearts movie, um... You know the part where Ariel first becomes a human? Well, um, if... When they, when they get up to that part on the big screen, I do not want to see Ariel being clothed when Ariel being... When Ariel just first became a human. As... Well, growing up enjoying the, the Little Mermaid, uh, growing up enjoying a lot of the animated Disney classics, including the Little Mermaid, um, I would prefer I, w I would prefer it if they can keep her half naked. By that, I don't mean like she would be seen fully naked, where up to the point that you can see her boobs per se. Oh no 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 no! We're talking like, well, when. Er Basically, like to see when with Ariel first becoming a human, when only as if Disney dared do a Kingdom Hearts movie. Um, I want to be able to see when I say that to see her half naked. I'm talking about as if she can, as if she appears to be only wearing her purple pur purple bra. Anyways, um, I, I think it'll also be nice if they can bring back Eddie Murphy to voice Mushu as well. I also would like it to be an epic Mickey movie. Um, I mean, when it comes to epic Mickey, like with Kingdom Hearts, whether you like him or hate him, you're gonna have to point out that there's always gonna be something to like about him, and then there's always gonna be something to complain about as well. And I think it'll be great if they can do an epic Mickey movie. Um, I think it would also be nice if Disney Toon Studios can also do a Disney Infinity movie. I also would love to be able to see Disney Toon Studios do a Marvel movie since Walt Disney Animation Studios already did one with Big Hero 6. Uh, I, I also would love to be able to see Disney Toon Studios do something, do a, do a Star Wars movie as well. And, um, and, and it's all the things that, um, that I would like the new and upcoming Disney Toon Studios film to be. And now let's get into what I don't want the new and upcoming Disney Toon Studios film to be. I definitely do not want it to be another Tinkerbell movie. As let's just face it, Disney Toon Studios has, uh, has already done too many Tinkerbell movies. So if they're gonna do any more, I think they should have more Peter Pan care. They should have at least have Peter Pan appear as well. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot one Disney Toon Studios film I would like it to be. I also would I also would love to see Disney Toon Studios do another Disney Princess movie. Considering the fact that I do adore the Disney princesses, um, anyways, um, anyways, back on to things I don't want the next Disney Toon Studios film to be. I also do not want it to be another planes movie or should I say another cars spin-off that matters as the cars franchise has already overstayed its welcome and it's a shame that Pixar will be making 
another would be making a Cars 3. No joke when I say that. Though I do not mind if if Disney and some studios dare tackle a, a, any Pixar properties. Just as long as they know not to do anything with the Cars franchise whatsoever. I also do not want it to be an all original film either. As if, as if Disney dared do something original as a movie, I'd feel more comfortable seeing it done at Walt Disney Animation Studios instead of it being done under Disney Toon Studios. As when when we're when, when we're speaking when we're speaking about Disney Toon Studios, it's supposed to be the animation studio that would make nothing but movies based off things we're already familiar with. Whereas all the original Disney movies would have to go to either Walt Disney Animation Studios or anywhere that's not Disney Toon Studios. You know, we're talking we're also talking Walt Disney Animation Studios, Pixar Animation Studios, or even collaborations with, with people like Tim Burton, Studio Ghibli, or any of those guys, basically. Well, um... This wraps up this video. Keep in mind, people, that I hope you all have a happy Easter.